What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Nick, this is Flaw Motorsports, and today I have something a little different from my other videos. As many of you know, I'm in the process of installing an M Composite TCR carbon fiber wide body kit on my RS3. Earlier this week, I posted a poll on the Flaw Motorsports Instagram asking if you all would rather see one longer update video when the car and the kit are completely done, or if you wanted multiple shorter videos along the way. Nearly 75% of you voted that you wanted video updates along the way, so this is the first of those updates. You'll have to bear with me on this one, as initially I wasn't planning on doing update videos along the way, so for this video I'll be using a bunch of photos that I've taken or my body shop guy that's doing all the labor on the kit sent me uh, so far. So without any other ado, let's get into it. All right, so this first photo and the video that you're about to see is when I first got the kit back to my house. Nearly all of the panels had been wrapped in bubble wrap and shrink wrap, which is how they came from M Composite. The previous owner never installed the kit and basically had it in this condition in his garage. So before we go any further, I wanted to give a huge thank you and shout out to Vincetti and his guys over at Extraordinary's Custom and Collision. They are the body shop that is taking on the massive project of getting the carbon fiber kit fitted to the car and repaired and making all the other modifications to my vehicle uh, as we come across and need them to make the kit fit and make it all make sense. I will link the shop down in the video description below as well. All right, so these first few photos you're going to see is a sample piece that the body shop did. Basically, um, a lot of the pieces of the carbon fiber kit are not in great condition when I received it. It looks like the epoxy that N Composite used didn't get uh, evenly applied when they did the vacuum suction on the various pieces. So Vincetti and his guys basically took this piece. This is the passenger rear fender arch and they just laid a couple coats of clear on it and then they did a wet polish. Uh, we wanted to see how it would come out and see whether that would be sufficient or if we would need to go ahead and actually repair the carbon which is ultimately what we're going to end up doing with the various pieces that do indeed need that treatment. So these next three photos is the rear bumper fitted to the vehicle and then two similar shots of the front of the car with the factory bumper removed and that passenger front fender flare attached. Uh, just getting an idea, these are the first photos that I saw once uh, Vicenius guy started actually working on the car, pulling off the factory panels, my clinched fender flares, the bumpers, and starting to fit uh, pieces of the kit. The next three photos are getting that driver side skirt added on there. That was the first of the two side skirts added on. So that was just showing the initial uh, fitment on the car. You can see in that second photo that the side skirt uh, isn't quite 100% touching the lower rocker panel, but all of that will be secured and it will be flush on there uh, upon final fitment. So these next two photos are small updates, but this is where we run into our first problem so far. So these two pieces, there's one on each side of the car, it goes inside the front wheel well. This helps smooth out the air as it comes out of the wheel well and down the car. But as you can see in the second photo, the bottom of the front box fender is kind of bowed out from the car. Our front fender pieces from M Composite are missing the mounting uh, tabs and bra associated bracket that holds the inside of the flare rigid and keeps it from bowing out, basically holds it square with the car. So this is an item that we will either try and procure from Audi North America or if we are going to just fabricate our own. So this is a quick walk around video I did at the car one day when I swung by there, a car was sitting outside when they're working on their customer's vehicle. We have majority of the front end pieces on the car, no side skirts on the car yet, and the rear bumper there. I try and get on the ground to kind of get an idea of the exhaust, which I will go over here in a minute. Something is going to have to be changed with the exhaust. 
So these next two photos show how the exhaust currently fits with the rear bumper and two smaller rear diffuser spats. Basically the stock placement for the exhaust no longer works with the uh, TCR bumper and rear diffuser spats because the TCR race car has a center exit. So basically from the axle back where the clamp is, I'm going to have to come up with some sort of custom setup. Uh, comment below and let me know if you think I should just do a dump underneath the car or if I should do a true center exit out the back uh, and keeping the factory valving so I can still have a quiet exhaust when I want it or a rowdy exhaust when I want it. So these final four photos is where the car sits uh, as of today. So almost the entire passenger side is done. We have the splitter mounted on the front and on the driver's side we have just the side skirt on the rear box flares need to be uh, attached we still need to do the front fender brackets we have a couple of small pieces we need to uh, put for the rear fenders and how it ties into the rear bumper and then we need to cut out and clearance uh, the cooling holes on the front bumper for the radiator the intercooler the oil cooler and the trans cooler which the tcr car does not have but the street rs3 does have well that's all i got for you guys today uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, it greatly helps the channel, allows me to keep doing all these awesome things with the car. And who knows, maybe we can do some more crazy stuff in the future. Uh, comment below if you have any questions or if you just want to know more information about the kit so far. Uh, and until next time when I have more updates, I'll see you then.